in neurological examination the most important step of examination is the gait of child you know that during the short case you have just 5 minutes to reach a diagnosis and complete all the relevant steps of examination most of the time during short case examination the command is patient presented with difficulty in walking do the motor system examination and the relevant and if you are going to complete the motor limb examination of the upper limb lower limb cranial nerve and relevant important examination that can be uh, checking sensory levels that can be examination of the back that can be uh, examination of the vitals so it takes time so you have to make some impression about the diagnosis of patient at the start and a proper gait examination provides you that impression suppose a child presents to you and uh, the child is having a waddling gait so your differentials will be of myopathies if a child presents in examination and he is having high stepping gait your differentials will be of neuropathy if patient is having spastic or crouch type of gait your differential will be of cerebral palsy of some type of degenerative brain diseases if your patient is having uh, on gait examination a taxia so your differential will be either of cerebral taxia or some type of sensory taxia and you will tailor your exa- further examination as per uh, your initial findings during gait examination you have to properly perform it and uh, uh, perform it as per the uh, maneuvers so i will uh, discuss here the most important steps that you should never forget while examination of the gait the first step is the site the place where you are, you are doing the gait examination should have adequate space so that patient can move around and you can properly uh, judge the patient uh, about his, his pathologies in the gait so the site the place where patient is moving around during gait examination should be of uh, spacious should have adequate space so patient can freely move out and you can judge the gait second step is uh, that a patient should be barefooted uh, examination of gait with the shoes on uh, it it is uh, never recommended and uh, it give gives you a negative impression during examination so always uh, remove the shoes before uh, proceeding for the gait examination because the subtle findings like pescavus like uh, some type of foot drop can be uh, missed if you if the shoes are on, uh, patient is wearing shoes third part is that uh, there should be adequate exposure mostly uh, uh, our uh, local dresses shalwar kameez so in that case uh, the exposure is not proper so uh, you have to properly expose the patient before gait examination the ex- proper exposure includes at least uh, exposing uh, uh, the legs up to the knees uh, so that properly you can comment on the gait the findings can be missed if uh, the patient is uh, not properly exposed uh during gait examination you have to be protective you have to be a safe doctor because during gait examination you don't know whether this patient is having uh, which type of gait which type of abnormality so always be protective if you are the single uh, one single examiner or single uh, one attending the patient so you should be on the back of the patient and your arms should be around the patient so in case of any sway any uh, it uh, balance disturbance your patient should not get injured in case if you have some assistant or some colleague or some examiner then you can put this responsibility to uh, uh, that uh, uh, person and uh, you should judge the gait of patient by sitting in front of the uh, the patient while he is uh, moving so the best site the best place to judge the gait or comment on the gait is that you are observing the gait uh, of the patient from uh, the front and from uh, front front next important point is that a uh, gait examination does not include just a simple walk but it has a, a different maneuvers that should be performed these maneuvers includes uh, walking on the uh, tiptoe walking on the heel because patient with the neuropathies will uh, not be able to walk on the tiptoes while the patient with myopathies or muscular dystrophies or with the spasticity or un- will not be able to walk on the heel similarly you should also perform the maneuvers to elicit subtle ataxia exe- like walking in the straight line and tandem walk if patient is having subtle or mild ataxia then patient will not be able to perform the walk on straight line or tandem walk gait if patient is having some type of ataxia during your gait examination then you should proceed to the romberg test that is also a part of uh, this gait examination thank you